outside storage room 1, click on the lever, then click on actions in the properties window, and we want to click in the on section, and click on the little button to the side. We want to use an object clicked trigger, and we need to select the object we want to be clicked in order to activate the lever. So click on the lever. This rule now states if the lever is clicked, then the lever will change its state to on, so the lever will come down. Before we created this action, nothing would happen. Give it a name, I'm just going to call it lever on, and then press the tick button to accept the rule. Now click on the door. If it won't let you click on the door, you'll have to zoom in on the map and click on the door in the map. Click on actions again. And we want to click in the open section, so set what will open the door. State trigger, so we're going to look at the state of another object. Click on the lever. Click on the state that the lever has to be in in order to open the door, so we want it to be in the on state. So now, if the lever is on, then the storage room 1 door will open. Give the rule a name. and accept the rule. You can then test it by pressing play move around the corridor to storage room 1 click on the lever and the door should open Press escape to exit this mode. We now need to go inside the storage room 1 and click on the safe. Actions. Open, so we're going to set what will open the safe. Shot by player, so if the safe is shot by player it will open. select the thing that has to be shot by the player, that is the safe so if the safe is shot by player then the safe will open. Give the rule a name tick and the rule has been created. We can then go to the control room to create the rules there we need to insert another active prop just outside the control room in order to guard it to stop people going inside. We want the robot, put the robot just outside the door facing outwards. This will stop people opening the door. With the robot selected, click on Actions, and then if we click on Set in Active, this means make it disappear. Again, we're going to use the Shot by Player, so if someone shoots the robot, click on the robot, so the rule will say, if robot is shot by player, the robot is deactivated or disappear. Give the rule a name and accept it. We can then click on the door and set the rule that will open the door. Click on Actions, Open, again State Trigger, we're going to look at the state of the robot. If the robot is inactive, then the door will open. So if the robot has been shot and has disappeared, then the door will automatically open.
we can then give the rule a name and accept it. Go inside the control room and click on the power switch. We're going to repeat the same process we used for the lever. So in the actions, if we go to on and then object click, so if the user clicks on the lever, it will change its state to on. So the lever will move down and it will be on. Give it a name and accept it. Click on the power switch again. We're going to create another rule. Set it in active by changing this to false. This means it won't appear by default. It will only appear once the user has collected the CD. So set in active. State trigger. We then need to go to the My Game menu and look at pickups and click on the disc if the disc is owned by the player so if the player has found the disc and got it out of the safe then this switch will appear otherwise it won't give the rule a name and accept it. We are going to create one more rule that will make the game end once the user clicks on the switch. Let's go to the My Game menu and Game Attributes. If we go to Actions Quit game, so this is the action that will quit the game. State trigger, now we can't click on the switch because it's inactive, so we're going to have to go to my game again. Active prop, and click on the power switch. Click on on, so the rule states if the power switch state becomes on, then the game will quit. Now we don't want it to do it straight away, so we're going to put a delay of 10 seconds in. You have now created all the rules.